Victoria Avenue, Wanganui, which means big mouth. It's got some lovely Art Deco style buildings, nicely renovated. Trying to avoid getting the cars in it. This is the beach at Patia. This has got an interesting driftwood. Presumably this was a commercial wharf once upon a time. And it's got interesting volcanic sand. This is their studio motel room in their way around, arguably one of the nicest settings that we've had in a motel. A very friendly couple own and operate it. And what's more, we've got a positive menagerie in the back garden. I say menagerie advisedly because uh, It's obviously a working farm. I think there might be a confrontation between the goat and the calf. Oh, perhaps not.
When we arrived yesterday, I think Margaret was a little disappointed that we didn't have a very good view of Mount Taraniki or any view at all through the clouds. But it's made up for it this morning with an absolutely gorgeous view which we can see from our studio room. But I've moved a little way. Got a long cloud right over it. So hopefully we'll see it from various places when we're driving around today. This is Opanake Lake that we're just going to walk around. It's a well established walkway and we can do various other bits as well. See how far we get. It's a lovely view, This New Zealand Christmas tree has just got a bit of blossom left, not a lot. We've now got to New Plymouth and we're going to go along this walkway. In the meantime, there's some funny little islands just offshore. This is the famous wind wand at New Plymouth. It's not much of a wind so it's not waving very much. Only a little. Thank you. 
About three miles after leaving New Plymouth, we suddenly discovered this rather intriguing view of Taranaki and the adjacent hills. So we came up a little side road just to take this at the top of the volcanic one has disappeared quite nicely into the cloud. Looks like it's got a flat top at the moment. We've now got to the visitor centre at Dawson Falls. Unfortunately, as you can see, the cloud's rolling down the mountain, so we won't get such a good view of that. Never mind, we should be able to see the falls all right. Mm, I think there's a there's a coal there like we saw this morning and the, yeah. the clouds just settled in that hasn't it yeah. and there's not much wind even up here so now we are now on our way to Dawson Falls through real rain forest with loads of moss on the south side of the tree Alright, I'll go and film it from there. This is the day we say goodbye to Taraniki <clears throat> and it's come out splendidly to say goodbye to us. There is a bit of snow.
Not as much as they will be soon. Moving quite fast, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Still on the Forgotten World Highway, this is the Tanganakau River in its gorge which we've been following for a couple of kilometres now at least on unpaved road. Still on the Forgotten World Highway, this is the view from Evans Lookout. And there's the road that we're just about to go down. We did. We've got the right of way on when we get to the bridge. Yeah. And they've got the sheep off the road. <laughs> A bit of free entertainment to end the morning. The sheep have decided to go back across the road now. So. Oh, that's nearly it. Just rounding this bend, we've got our first view of Lake Taupo. We'll find out what later, what that is in the distance. <laughs> 